Yes, I, I received my vaccine injury from my third Pfizer shot, which was my booster shot on the 8th of January 2022. Uh, I um, started with uh, pericarditis, but the inflammation was much further spread than just in my heart. It went through to my lungs and for further to other parts of my body, including my brain. Uh, over a period of about five mu months, I was quite acute, acutely unwell, well spent, spent multiple trips into hospital. Uh, it's been about six, six weeks in hospital overall. Uh, trying to recover from, from just that initial acute, acute inju injury. Uh, but since then, then, I am now chronically ill and disa disabled from, from the vac vaccine. I am no longer able to wor work or dri drive or do ma many things at all. Re re really, it affect affects my whole body, uh, my capacity to th think <laughs> and spe speak, my uh, ability to wa walk, my regulatory system is complete, completely disorganised. Um, yes, yeah, so it has had a ma ma major catastrophic uh, impact on myself and my fa family. And has the federal government recognised your vaccine injury and compensated you uh, appropriately for your injury, along with uh, have you received adequate medical support from the medical community, uh, including respect uh, as to your injury? Uh, I, I, I have not received compensation from the federal go go government. Uh, I am uh, one, one of the very fortunate pe people who fit within the very small category who could qualify for the vaccination compensation scheme because I fit into one of the 11 categories of, pe of adverse reactions that um, qualifies for the compensation scheme, uh, and I was hospitalised for that 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 adverse reaction. Uh, but uh, I had to wait till I you have to wait for things to finish before you can do do that. For me, me, I had to have to wait for you have to wait for all your uh, other forms of insurance to be able to come through and I am still wait, wait, waiting for my TPD insurance to be fi finalised. Um, so that, that is taking a long, long time because like for ma many vaccine injured, we find it very di difficult to have all of our medical things confirmed and agreed upon. All of these things take a very very long time because our injuries are so new and so poorly understood. Um, cannot remember what else you asked. I'm sorry. Uh, have you time. received adequate support from the medical community in terms of your injuries? I have had varied levels of support. I was very fortunate, unlike many pe people, my GP recognised my injury to begin with, and I am actually grateful to my GP that I am alive because she recognised I had a vaccine injury. But, but um, I have had interactions across multiple hospitals and with many spe specialists, and not all of those have been as po positive. Um, 
I have only just received some of my medical records back, back and in some of those re records I've seen that um, some of the gas lighting of me, that, that, that has been done to many of the vaccine injured was also done to me, me where the do doctors who were saying one thing to me, me about what they were being quite supportive to me uh, face to face, but in my medical record, they were writing things about me, me suggesting that I was having some kind of psychological event, whereas I have got a long list of experts that have looked at my case and have attributed it to the vaccine. So, so that, that, that is very typical for the vaccine injured, particularly women, particularly women my age, and we make up a large number of the vaccine in, injured, that it is very easy to gaslight us with that, that kind of statement. Yeah. Thanks very much, Mrs Potter. I appreciate your bravery.